Now, as we have learned about a couple of designs, let's get rid of all of these shapes and stuff. Just simply select all of these, right click and uh, delete. And when you want to get rid of the rulers, you can turn off the ruler from here. Now, let's see some of the tips to precisely align the text. For example, let me just create a heading or let's say a shape. Let's write a line here. I will mention a line and click on lines. I have different options to choose from. For example, this one I select. And if I want it to be thicker, you can choose it from here. You can increase the weight of it. And if I drag it towards right in the perfect alignment like this, you can align that and now if i want to change the color i will select this line and i have the option of here on the top we have line colors so let's choose that and let's say that if i want to choose this color so now this is inserted and i want to create a stylish heading so that is the border for it and now let's add a heading you can just click on that as well and let's write something like now this is my heading first of all i want it to be a single lined heading you can just reduce the size of it and the text size and let's say now it is like this now my heading is of this size i want it to be exactly aligned as per that shape so you will notice that if i start moving it towards right let me just zoom it a little bit so that you can see a proper form of it. For example, we have we are in here and if we start increasing the size of it and we want to make match the exact size from that shape as well in the perfect alignment. So you will notice that when we go just on the corner of that shape. So you will see that when we go just around the corner of that shape, it will snap it and show the line that is an indication that it is in perfect alignment right now. Similar cases here, if, if we start moving this shape towards our this point, it will snap it and show the shape indication. Now you can also adjust and play with the spacing. If you select this text, we have the option of spacing in here. If you click on it, you can change the letter spacing. You can increase the size like this. And let's say if we reduce the size, the overall look will be like this. If we increase the letter spacing, you can increase the line spacing. If we have multiple text and let's reduce this, you can even change it to like this. So these are some of the options that you can play with and experiment what works for you. But one thing that you need to keep in mind is when you are experimenting with this spacing options, you need to make sure that you are under the proper alignment. For example, if you are left aligned, the spacing will not work in the same way as uh, when it is center aligned. If you notice that when now, if I am increasing the space, it is not changing any position from here. It is static here. It is touched down here and it is only increasing the space towards the right. Same is the case here when we change it to the left aligned. Um, all of the spacings are and will be adjusted towards my other side. Now this side is not static and uh, it is adjusting according to this side. And again, if you want to move up and align with this shape by yourself, you can play around and see what works for you. So in this case, the ideal one, what I think is the center alignment and you can play with the spacing after that. Now again, the subheading area, for example, you want to uh, add subheading just under this. Uh, there is an option by default available in the text area and that is add a subheading. Now if I write something like this, now this is my subheading and now if I select this, I can increase the spacing. It will look very stylish like this, for example and you can align it just under that. So these kind of textiles look very cool when designing a professional template. So this is some of the option of precisely designing the text sizes. 
Although it's not very complex, but it will be a great help to design some beautiful textiles and alignments.